Thanks for checking out Sortly. In today's video, I'm going to create a high-level overview of how you can easily check out inventory to a specific employee or a job site. Now, in this case, I've kind of built out a very simple example, one for asset tracking. And inside asset tracking, we have two folders. We have an employees folder, which would be any of the employees that are associated with my organization. And I also have an inventory folder, which is all the inventory items that I have on hand at any given time. So if I wanted to check out items to a specific individual, I would go into my in inventory folder and I'm gonna see all the current inventory items that I have. Let's assume that we're working with an IT company and we're assigning out devices for users who are working from home. So as you can see, I have a couple different items here. We have some laptops in this laptops folder. We also have a monitor, a keyboard, a monitor stand, and then a mouse. So if I wanted to allocate these items or check them out, assign them to a specific individual, I can either do so by simply hovering over the item and clicking on the checkbox at the top left. This will offer you the ability to then select multiple items at once, which you can then move to a specific individual's folder. You can also do this uh, by simply hovering over the item and you'll see this little arrow inside of the folder. That allows you to move the items as well. But in this case, let's assume that we wanted to move multiple items at one time to a specific individual. So in this case, I'm gonna highlight the monitor. I'm gonna also do the keyboard, the mouse stand, and the mouse. From here, I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click on the move function. When I click on move, it's going to pop open a window initially indicating the quantity that I want to move. Now up at the top right, you're going to have the ability to select uh, either one per item, all quantity, or custom. I'm going to leave this at one per item here in this case, and I can scroll down this list to see all the items that I'm working with. Once this looks good, you'll go ahead and hit the next button, and then you're going to determine where you want to move these items to. So in this case, I have the asset tracking folder here, I have the employees folder here, and I have a couple different colleagues of mine who have been built out as folders who we're gonna assign inventory to. So in this case, I'm gonna assign these items to Riley. So I'm gonna hit move. And now all four of those items that I've highlighted will now be moving into Riley's folder specifically. Now Riley is gonna be now responsible for those items. So those items are effectively assigned to that specific user and you're able to see those items in that employee's folder. So if we click on the employee dropdown, you'll then be able to click into the Riley folder and you'll be able to see all of the items that are currently associated with them. Now let's assume, for example, that you're checking something out and maybe there isn't a return date or an expiration date that you wanna to add to the item. Now you can do this in custom fields and we've kinda of walked you through how to do custom fields in a prior video, but let's assume that you wanna be notified you know, 30 days from now when, you want, when something should be returned. So we could put like an expiration date or a purchase date. You can really call these expiration dates or purchase date fields anything you want. Ultimately, it's a date-based field at the end of the day, so you can determine what you wanna call it. And then in that field, you can select a date in the future. So let's say, for example, March 31st, I can select that date. I can then, to the right of that, I'll have the ability to set up an alert. So I can go in and choose when I want to be alerted about this item expiring. So I can either do before, on the same day, or after. So I'm going to do on the same date. It's then going to not offer me the ability to select any of these parameters because it's on the same date that we're selecting. Now, if you did the before or after setting, it would offer you the ability on your end to select a time period either before or after when you want to get notified. Similar to that of the min level alerts, you have the ability again to select who's going to be notified. So by default, it shows yourself. You also have admins, owners, and team members. And then you can also select individuals uh, manually within the software. So in this case, if I wanted Monica to be notified of this specific event, I could highlight her name, um, and then both myself and Monica would be notified, and I can go ahead and hit confirm. That's gonna make that alert active, and I can go ahead and save that event. Once we save that event, it's gonna take us back into my folder specifically, and we're gonna see a little bell icon on the item just letting us know that that item has an active alert on it, and we can be notified of that event specifically. With that being said, that's a high-level overview of how to set up uh, checking out inventory to a specific individual or job site. Thanks again.